Good morning, everybody. How are you doing? Uh, we are doing okay down here in Tampa. Today is the 27th day of February 2022. It's a nice day down here in Tampa, Florida. Uh, it's very early in the morning on a Sunday. It is 7.22 a.m. to be specific. Someone sent me an email to this guy. Uh. See, I guess I'm doing this all wrong. <laughs> I come out and talk to you uh, like people, like adults. Um, I don't call myself Coach Red Pill. Uh, as if, you know, I'm coaching you up. I'm leading you along. I'm teaching young minds because I'm so smart. And <laughs> I've always thought to myself, I never use the term red pill. I'm going to red pill you because douchebag. Uh, so, <laughs> but this guy has 276,000 subscribers. So I guess I'm doing this all wrong. I'm going to go out today and buy me an old faded fucking ball cap. I'll be the old ball coach for you. <laughs> uh, he's close. He gets stuff. To the guy who sent it to me, David, thank you. He, he's he's uh, okay, but he's 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 not entirely accurate. Um, they don't want a puppet regime in Kiev. Thank you very much. But we'll talk more about that in a second. <laughs> I, I wanted to point out real quick, and just to remind people, giving credit where credit is due, Aaron Rousseau, back in 2006, in an interview with Disinfo Jones, um, was very accurate. He was talking about his uh, communication with, was it a Rothschild or a Rockefeller? It was one of the two. It was a Rockefeller. It was a Rothschild. It was a Rothschild. And... <laughs> he said, uh, basically, Rockefeller, I don't fucking know. Uh, he said, basically, what the plan was to get us chipped. These. And the vaccination passports being turned into digital passports. And eventually, they're already testing the, the stuff to put them in your hands, or the back of your hand, or your arm. So he was right on that. And then in the end, the real power of that is if you don't do what you're supposed to do, if you don't say what you're supposed to say, if you don't, if you push back on the establishment, um, they'll just turn your chip off. Now, I think people misunderstand. We, we see this happening now. Obviously, the fucking digital pass, which we'll talk more about tomorrow. We're doing, they're, they're still pushing for these things, even though everything else and all these restrictions are being late, being withdrawn and eased back, including mask restrictions. We'll talk about that tomorrow. But they are still pushing forward with the digital pass. They want the digital pass because of the power it gives them. But I think people misunderstood what he said. What he was saying was he said they'll turn you off. He wasn't saying they in the evil government will turn you off. He's saying the banks will turn you off. And again, we're seeing that. This whole thing about, well, the sanctions against Russia. They're shutting down fucking banking accounts for this central bank. They're shutting down bank accounts for individuals. <laughs> just coming right out and fucking stealing money from their bank accounts if they happen to have bank accounts in not only foreign banks, but also domestic banks in Russia. Because the domestic banks in Russia are part of foreign banks. And then, of course, the people who made donations through 
give, send, go uh, to the truckers' convoy. And, of course, we talked about that. That was all the news for a while until, of course, this thing broke out and they started lobbing fucking artillery shells into uh, the breakaway republics until Russia did something so they could distract us with this story. Uh, That's going to continue at pace. But they're already doing it. And I dare say, yes, the people who are giving the fucking announcements, making the announcement, it's not the CEO or the banks, but it's the banks who are doing it. It's the banks who are telling the people in the government that that's what we're going to do. It'd be very interesting at some point in time if they ever do really audit any of these fucking banks. And if the fucking Barney Frank thing back in the day didn't teach us uh, anything, it taught us, <laughs> even when they claim to put the fucking brakes on the fucking banking institutions, they're not. It'd be very interesting to see where that money goes. Because my guess is, it ain't going to your evil government. They're taking it. Because they're the ones doing this shit to us. That's Scott's. Coach Scott. (laughs) Coach Scott of the Red Pill. Giving you that little bit of insight. (laughs) I'm going to give you a Ukraine update. And um, here it is. Very exciting. Uh, not a lot of blue markers on here. Remember, this is live action. Uh, live conflict map is back. Uh, they were gone for a while. Uh, now they're back. Notice all. The, there's almost no fucking fighting back from the blue side. Blue side being the Ukrainian government. Everything's the red side. Bombings, shootings, fires, bombings. Tanks, it's all from the red side. If you believe the conflict map, Ukraine conflict map, at live, live uamap.com, uh, then what you would uh, think is that the poor fucking Ukrainians aren't doing jack shit. Uh, when in fact they are, and I'll show you in a few seconds, there's what, what kinds of reports going on uh, about what's happening here. Um, But what's interesting, I guess, is the areas that are red, uh, that didn't used to be red, that are now, and that would be controlled by Russia. Um, And possibly Belarus is involved. I don't think Belarus is entering into the country at all yet, but um, who knows. They're making inroads into Ukraine. Uh, They certainly could have done it faster. Uh, but they're making inroads into Ukraine, which, by the way, is supported by uh, a number of reports from not our mainstream media, SANA, Press TV, Sputnik, um, uh, Ria Novosti, Ria Novosti, TASS news agency. Uh, there's an interesting uh, statement here, I think. Uh, one of these details the fact that uh, Ukraine has acknowledged that Russia has uh, its delegation has gotten to the place in Belarus where they are supposedly going to have talks, but now Russia or now Ukraine says they're not going to because Russia expects. Uh, them to cease fire as a precursor for the talks, and they're not going to do it. Uh, this is the government Kiev key, key uh, backtracks on peace talks in Gamal after Russian delegation arrives in Belarus. Uh, that is confirmed, by the way, by one of these things here. If I could find it, I can show it to you. Uh huh. Well, it was here just a minute ago. I'm not making it up. Uh, 
here it is. All right. Zelensky's press secretary says that they're aware that the Russian delegation arrived in Hamel. Uh, we've indeed discussed talks there. They said they would talk. But then Russia issued the ultimatum that the Ukrainian military would lay down weapons. So there'll be no fucking Ukrainian delegation there. Well, that I reported on that being um, a stipulation that they're going to have to fucking lay down the arms on Friday. Today is Sunday. They've never changed that. Uh, uh, it, it's always been something that they had to do in order to uh, have these talks. So they're not going to talk. They're not interested in talking. Uh, from SANA, they're talking about uh, Russian Federation Security Services, FBS, F FSB foils a dash uh, Daesh ISIS terror attack in Russian province. <laughs> Interesting how ISIS is now stepping up their attacks against Russia uh, while we're in conflict with Russia. Just thought you'd find that interesting. Um, I'll post links to these down below. Uh, Russia is admitting that they are coming from all directions and they are entering now Ukraine's second city. Um, it's being reported by CNN it's Ukraine's second largest city. But this is the second city that they've entered. Uh, it says here they are doing their best to avoid collateral damage. Which... Uh, this guy does say, does mention. Now, one thing he does talk about is the difference in how, let's say, a civilized nation conducts operations like this as opposed to, say, us. Uh, he points out that, you know, uh, commentators are saying, well, Russia's not, uh, and, and, and the Ukrainian military are pushing them back, and uh, they haven't hit out the, the, taken out the fucking water systems yet they haven't taken out the electrical grids yet they haven't taken out the fucking cell towers yet um that's because everyone doesn't fight that way terrorist nations fight that way <laughs> that's shocking all civilized nations don't do that civilized nations fight armies versus armies and military versus military installations they don't do that we do that because we want to fucking uh, turn the fucking uh, citizenry of the country that we are invading, usually illegally, uh, into a childlike state, revert them back into a childlike state so that we can come in and dictate whatever happens. Plus, uh, it's good for our businesses because they can come in there and rebuild the water system, rebuild the fucking uh, electrical grid shittier for 20 times more money than it would normally take so they can get you know rich <clears throat> but he makes a good point uh, civilized nations don't do that and Russia's not doing that speaking of what civilized nations do big headline CNN this morning Ukraine accuses Russia of war crimes targeting civilians as fighting enters the second largest city, uh, Kharkiv. Um, targeting civilians. Now, what did I tell you? What did I fucking tell you? They have been arming civilians. They have reduced. They have, they have taken the limits off. The conscription age, it was between 18 and 60, that people could join the fucking military. Now the 60 is gone. So great granny can fucking fight. And the 18 is gone. So the toddlers can fight. And I told you. They're going to put guns in these fucking children's hands. In these elderly people's hands. They say get out there and fight. And then as soon as they shoot one fucking round off. At a, at a, at a, at a spaznav fucking soldier. <laughs> they're going to get wiped out. And then along with the, the PR guys will be waiting in the wings with their cameras and they'll send someone down to grab the guns out of fucking granny in the toddler's hands and then take pictures and say, look at what Putin did. I told you. I told you.
told you that's what they were going to fucking do. Ukraine accuses Russia of war crimes targeting civilians. This is from the National Review. Ukrainian Defense Ministry urges citizens to fight back with Molotov cocktails as Russians enter Kiev. That's the National Review. Here's the hill. Ukrainian Defense Ministry tells residents to use Molotov cocktails in Kiev. That's the 25th. These are both from the 25th. Here's just a Google search. Zelensky arms citizens. The Ukrainian president said he will provide weapons to any citizen. Ukraine accuses Russia of war crimes targeting civilians. Come get your guns. So I can use your death as a PR fucking tool. And you think I'm making that shit up about the fucking toddlers and the great grandmas? We need all recruits. No age restriction. Two days ago, the 25th, Ukrainian army. And that's from TBS. Going into this, knowing this was coming, military.com said Ukraine requires women to register for military conscription. <laughs> they want images of dead women. This is Norway today. Ukraine opens up military service to older people. No restrictions. No restrictions. I told you that's what they were doing. That's what they're doing. That's what we're talking about here is how cowards fight wars. How cowards and the morally bankrupt fight wars. And to his credit, Coach Red Pill. To his credit, he calls attention to that, to a different aspect of it, but he's absolutely right. <laughs> Honorable military don't... Now, this is not to say the military personnel in the United States are not honorable. This is their leadership telling them to target dams, infrastructure, bridges, rail lines, power stations, water pumping stations. Um, the leadership of moral military uh, units, they don't do that. They don't do that. But we do. And we've gotten so accustomed to it, and he's making a very good point, that um, you know, the reporters that we have, they're not seeing fucking power stations blowing up. They're not seeing fucking water fucking uh, uh, systems being blown up, water treatment facilities being blown up. And, and they're thinking, wow, they're not really, they don't know how to fight a war. It just tells you how fucking sick some people in our fucking media have become over the fucking decades of doing this shit. And here's just another example. Here's just another example. Let's get our fucking civilians out there throwing goddamn a Molotov cocktail at a column of these. And when they get torn to fucking shreds for doing it, run out there and get some pictures. And then we can use it on CNN to make the Russians look bad. <laughs> it's not going to matter. <laughs> because CNN saying the fucking Putin looks is evil because Johnny got his gun and got his fucking head blown off at the age of fucking 12 because Zelensky told him to and put the gun in his hand because a bunch of women were forced to sign up for the military 
didn't know what the fuck they were doing, and got their heads blown off. Putin doesn't care about that kind of hearts and minds campaign. He is going to fucking regime. He said he was going to regime change them for a reason. He's absolutely right. He did it for a reason. He did all of this for a reason. Now, you can go back to my stuff on this shit. Over here on my fucking Substack. I've got a bunch of stuff from 2014. Help you better understand why we're there. Why we're there and why Putin is doing what he's doing. That and the fact that since 2014, there have been thousands of people killed in the Donbass breakaway republics. Um, and people outside the breakaway republics in Donbass simply for supporting the breakaway republics. Um, it is a brutal fucking regime in Ukraine. It is our puppet. And Putin's had enough. And so has most of civilized society. <laughs> anyway, there you go. There's your update. Uh, got it in 22 minutes. That's good. Um, I hope you have a good Sunday. If there's any more developments I will cover them today Bo has hopped up but he is not going to he's gonna make an entrance <laughs> he's gonna make an entrance Bo and it's Bo <laughs> and it's Bo okay <laughs> so much for that aha it is Bo. All right. Thank you for your time. Talk to you later. Have a good Sunday. Bye.